I want to share who it was when I came to the States, to America, in 1964. I was 21 years old. Um, I wanted to come to uh, be better in English. Mm -hmm. I was already pretty good. I went to England several times. I had to gone to the States once for about um, two months. And I thought that I would become a multilingual secretary in Geneva, which is near the home, my home where I grew up. In 1964, girls would either become teachers, nurses, or secretaries. So I didn't want to stay. So I found myself a job to be house mother in a dorm in the girls' school in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And my father, who was in the steel business, knew that Bethlehem, Pennsylvania would not be paradise. It was an industrial city. So he wanted to help me out. And we had distant relatives in Los Angeles. And the husband was a professor at Los Angeles City College. Mm -hmm. And they had two kids my age, mm -hmm. 19 and 20. So he wrote to them if they would uh, house me for a while. And they said, sure, we'd love to. I went to Paris by myself and I asked for a green card mm -hmm. because they recommended that I get a green I card. I actually got my green card the next day. But I guess I was quite a desirable girl because <laughs> two months before, no, maybe two years before, I got a letter from the Australian government. Oh. And other girls did too, not just me. Oh. If you want to come to Australia and be trained as a teacher, we will take care of all your expenses. We're still a pioneer country. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to go to Australia. No. I want to go to the United States. So uh, flew to Los Angeles on, uh, in September uh, 1964. And these distant relatives with whom I stayed, mm -hmm. and the husband I couldn't stand. The uh -huh. wife, we became very good friends. The children were fine. And then I got myself a job in a bank. And there, what I had to do is process all the checks that were made in a big machine, and they had to balance at the end of the day. I was in trouble if they didn't. Balance. Would get very upset at me because when I make a four, a French four, it looks like an American six. So they were. He was very, very upset, and I got fired. I had another relative, an old lady, who lived in West LA. And after a week of me being in Los Angeles, she had a grandson my age. She wanted to invite me for, for lunch. You know, you called it Sunday dinner. It was ah. like at 2 p.m. on Sunday. She was 80 years old and it was far. So she used to invite for lunch, not only her grandson, but this fellow who was 29 years old. Mm -hmm. and was French and Jewish like us. And um, so she asked him if uh, he would pick me up, you know, go back to East LA, to West LA. Mm -hmm. So he picked me up. And then he said that if I was bored, I should call him. And nowadays, girls call guys. Mm -hmm. But at that time, they didn't. Mm -hmm. But I was 21, he was 29, you know, kind of, a, I called. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been married for 57 years. But what happened is that when I got fired 
mm-hmm. from the bank. That's the day we got engaged.